Oh my god, it's like a freight train! Welcome back to another epic catfishing adventure. Today you join me on a week-long trip to a lake known as Whiskers in central France. Whiskers is a four-acre lake surrounded by a beautiful forest and it holds some true specimen catfish with the biggest being up to 150 pounds. Jason and I set ourselves a target to each walk away from the venue having caught 100 pound catfish and our expectations were well exceeded. Sit back, grab yourself a cup of tea and enjoy watching me get beaten up by some true monsters. We are currently loading up, ready for an early start in the morning. Jason's just bringing down the rest of his stuff from his flat. Getting our ducks in a row nice and early. Put the bikes in. The bikes are in. <laughs> I didn't believe it, but it happened. They're always going to go in there. <laughs> well, the time is five to five in the morning. Way too early if you ask me. Final prep's underway before we head to the ferry dock. We arrived at the lake at around 9.45 in the evening and were greeted by the lake owner, Simon, who took us on a small tour around the lake. By the time we unloaded the van and set our gear up, we were far too tired to start fishing effectively, so left it for the morning. So me and Jason have had a little bit of a, a go round in the boat today just to check the depths, check the spots and make sure we're fishing over a nice hard spot. A lot of it's gravel, there's a few silty bits in the deeper areas. So today we're not going to fish it hard, we're just going to put a couple of surface rigs out, maybe with a live bait, maybe with some leeches and um, hopefully one of the cats that we saw on the surface earlier is going to pick it up. Tonight we're going to hit it hard, three rods out each. The girls are going to have a couple of rods on the other lake over there. Um, so hopefully we can we can see some action later. So the first rod is being baited with a stinking cuttlefish and some lobworm. One rig ready to go and catch a catfish. Well, it's five to five in the evening. I've just got back from having a lovely, cool, refreshing shower. It's actually uh, very much needed after the heat that we've had today, and I'm really thankful that there's a shower on site. Jason and I haven't really had much action on the Cat Lake today, but we've only been fishing one rod each. Um, we tend to do this on Cat Lakes because obviously catfish are nocturnal for the most part, but we do want to snag a daytime bite. The plan of action is in a few hours, we're gonna get the rods out, few different baits tonight so we can get a feel for what they're feeding on if we manage to catch um, but yeah hopefully we will see you in a bit with a big stinking catfish so this is a bit of an unconventional rig for us we're not uh, really that keen on fishing these kinds of rigs because it feels a bit like carp fishing and we're cat fishermen however the owner has advised us that this does work on this lake so we're gonna give it a go and uh, see what happens Yeah, we've got two rods out each now. Going to put the third one out in about half an hour with live bait. Want to leave that as late as possible so they stay as lively as possible. So um, yeah, give it half an hour. Get the last rods out for the evening and hope, 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 hope we get a catfish in the night. So that's the last one out for the night. That is a live bait on a sub tipper rig. So that is all three rods out for me and now I'm just going to bring the boat back in and we're going to put Jason's last rod out for the night and that's it. And then we wait for that elusive 100 pound catfish. Setting the depth of the live bait. Whoa! Jesus Christ, Kenny! We're in. 
Oh my goodness me. serious now. He's stripping that. We had no choice but to get out in the boat to land this fish as it snagged Jason in something. Yeah! It would later come to light that this fish was known as Mr. Angry and there's a good reason why. What's the point of a bar on that end of it? F***ing you m***! He went for me again! Oh my god! Your pike ones. Hundred, bang on. Right, so here we are at Whiskers in France. This is our second proper night. Um, we didn't have anything last night. We put the rods out now, probably an hour ago. And we've just landed this new PB for me, 100 pound <laughs> on the nose. He's picked up a live bait underneath the Catfish Pro sub tipper. Um, we had to go out in the boat because he got snagged up. But yeah, luckily we managed to get him in the net. Or Kenny managed to get him in the net while I played him in the boat. And here we are. So yeah, we're going to get him slipped back. Next up was my turn in the early hours of the morning on the leech rod. I was just awoken by a carp on the, on the bottom bait rod and I've just been awoken by something a lot stronger on the leech's rod. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do physically to stop this fish. Well, is my prediction of 200s tonight going to be right? I hope so. I reckon it is, looking at that. These fish take two people to net and without the girls there to help film, it's almost impossible to show us actually landing the fish. However, this one drifted in nicely. Not quite as big as Jason's, but means I'm off the mark with the species that was intended. It's pale, isn't it? Kenny, that is, um, that may be 100, you know. Bang on, 88. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh. Another French beast, 88 pounds. Not quite 100, but it's a PB, so I'm absolutely buzzing. And um, I'm sure it's not going to be the last one we see of the trip. Look at the bloody size of it. They weigh a ton. <laughs> Jason got bitten <laughs> by a hundred pound catfish last night. Yeah, don't get in the water with it. <laughs> Just <shot. laughs> Well, first proper night of fishing, we both had a PB. Mine was 88 pound, Jason's was a hundred pound. I will not be leaving this late until I catch a hundred pound of myself. Typically when me and Jason go catfishing, we, we rest the lakes during the day because catfish are nocturnal for the most part, as I've mentioned before and we don't want to pressure it too much during the day when they're not likely to feed. Baits that were successful last night, leeches and live bait. I also had a carp on a, on a bottom bait, but we slipped that straight back because we're not interested in those. Maybe have a coffee, maybe have a bit of breakfast and um, see where the day takes us. Sort of net the broads for the day. Re-rigging up. into a sturgeon. I saw him in the margins feeding, so Claire thankfully ran to the lodge and got me some spam. Quickly rigged it up and he took it right in front of us, didn't he? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Come on, Boris. 
He's in the net. Yeah. I've seen this sturgeon swimming around the lake for the past couple of days. He wasn't feeding yesterday, but I was just um, on my way to the cabin and I saw him just in the margins and I saw him kicking up the mud underneath him. Um, he was feeding, so Claire ran to the lodge, got some span and we got him. Well, this is Boris the Blade as he's well known. Absolutely wicked Siberian sturgeon. I'm really happy I've caught him. <laughs> he's an absolute machine. And Boris is now going back to fight another day. The daytime was quiet as expected on the catfish lake, but as evening approached, we set about getting the rods out for the night. Two rods out of three. Mackerel on the bottom, cutfish and worms on the surface. Now we're going to get Jason's rods out. And I put my last rod out, probably in an hour, because I'm going to use live bait. I'll chuck it over to the left there. What are your predictions tonight? I reckon we're going to have 113 on that one, and we're going to have 120 on that one. Rods are out for the evening. Now we play the waiting game. Oh yeah. Whoa. Here we go again. <laughs> and this is why we fish for catfish. Claire, come and feel the power of this fish. Look at him. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Pull it back, gently, gently, gently. Oh my God. <laughs> this has got a cap. <laughs> I'm going to catch this on my rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's big. Yeah, it looks big on the camera. He's in. We got him. Good job. Oh, yes, got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, Ken. Make sure. 94. Right, here we are. My second fish of the trip. 94 pound. It's exactly the same time as last night. Same method, exactly the same bait. Lovely fish. See you later, mate. Another French monster. Woken me up at half six from a very deep sleep. I can barely hold it, it's that big. Blimey, that's gotta be a PB. Yeah, man. I can't believe us just woke us up. What time did we get to bed? <laughs> no, like three o'clock. <laughs> oh, it's now six o'clock. Main man. We're fishing during the day today. We are going around the other side of the lake over there somewhere. We're gonna put two surface rigs out, two surface rigs, which will catch us two catfish, hopefully, because we've seen them slapping their tails over there on the past few days, so maybe they're up in the water feeding. Who will know? We will only know if we get out there and try it. Uh, uh, Claire, reel that right hand rod in quick. We've got a daytime bite. It's taken all day, but it's finally happened. And it feels like a lump. It's on a bottom bait actually, so that's on a, a popped up boily. The recast worked, so Jason and I have been spotting loads of fish in the area. And we next one just cruising around just in front of us, so I brought this rod in and recast it to that spot. And it's gone. So it's one of the lake's smaller residents, probably about 40 pound. Um, don't want to waste too much time with this one. Like I said, it is one of the smaller ones, so um, I just got to hope that one of the hundreds comes along next. It's a bit slippery. I'll pop them straight back. 
The surface rig then went and I hit into the fish, but soon lost it. For sake! That carp's gonna be gone. Well, I'm absolutely wounded. Every angler knows the feeling of a lost fish. And when it's fishing as hard as it is during the day, it's an absolute killer. Um, I lost my head a little bit, but <laughs> you know, we've all done it once in a while. Rod's going back out in the same spot. Hopefully the fish is still kicking about. Um, and hopefully I can land him, but we'll see. Right, so after a seriously tough day, sat in the sun, struggling to catch catfish, I'm now tasked with making tonight's dinner, so I'm gonna make like a carbonara type thing. I'm gonna refuel, ready for the night ahead. Yeah, it's filthy, have you seen them? Well, it's not a conventional carbonara, but I've done the best I can with the ingredients that I had. Let's do a little taste test. Bland as anything. It's catfish dinner. And that's our dinner. We set up our rods ready for the night ahead in the hopes I could redeem myself after the day's antics. I stocked up on some live bait for the evening before kicking back with an ice cold beer. Hole in the bottom. It's a really strange fight. Getting me kind of worried. This fish is massive. So Kenny is still playing this fish. It's been about 20 minutes. And now we've got a thunderstorm rolling in. So yeah, wish us luck. That's... That was a hell of a fight. Kenny, look how big this is. I've never seen a catfish with a hump back. If that's not a hundred pound fish, I will eat my head torch. I'm not even joking. <laughs> okay, well that was a seriously hard fought battle. It took about 25 minutes to get this fish in. I originally thought it was on the uh, dumbbell with a live bait underneath, but it was actually on the bottom bait that I put out um, this, this afternoon. Half three in the morning, there's a storm rolling in. The fish has been resting in the net now for five minutes. It's gonna give it another few minutes because the water is very warm. I'm going to get it out, weigh it, and have a look. Well, could it be the 100 pounder I was so desperately chasing? It's time to find out. 88 again. Ah, there we are. Another absolute unit. 88 pounds of French pussycat. Look at the gut and head on it. It's huge. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get him straight back and get the rod out. There he goes. <laughs> Oh shoot! Well, we've got a double take. Jason's in. I'm in. What is going on? Well, it's a small catfish. It came directly after the 88 pounder, and Jason seems to be snagged on something. So he's just going to give it a minute on his rod. But I think we're going to have to go out in the boat and try and free it. So an eventful night last night. A couple of fish landed, lots of runs and a big storm. Jason's just been out in the rowboat to get his rig that was snagged up. He hooked into a fish and it took him probably around a tree branch or something like that. Um, but he's managed to get the rig back, so that's all good. Today, we're gonna head over to the other side of the lake again, see if we can get another daytime fish. And tonight, probably head back around here, get the rods out for the evening. So we successfully convoyed everything to the other side of the lake. It's nice and shady over here, a little bit of a breeze, which is lovely, because the heat is absolutely relentless at the moment. Um, Jason and I are just sussing out what spots we're gonna put our baits on, and yeah, without further ado, we are gonna get to the fishing. See if we can get another daytime cat. So we've seen a few fish over there. Jesus Christ! 
This feels so powerful. Oh my god, fuck a freight train! Pounds. Perfect. 108! Yes! So this is a 108 pound catfish. This is what I came to France for. It's an absolute unit. It pulled so hard and I'm absolutely knackered. And I'm sure the fish is too, so yeah, I'm not going to keep it out of the water too long. <laughs> Baby! I'm blown away. 108 pounds. 108 pounds in the day. Mwah. Cheese away. Bye. Oh, Sorry. since I've had two PBs, it's only fitting that I get two buckets. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> get in there! <laughs> It must have been the storm the night before which woke the cats up because they were really on the feed. This time, Jason hit into my rod because we were taking it in turns on runs. I'm walking away from that one. <laughs> He's gone, mate. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to get him in the net, whoa! I know. Oh, oh look at that! Oh my living goodness. Go on, Ken. Oh. Go on, Ken, he's ready. He's in. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Woo! <laughs> How big is it then? Big. Just giving it a bit of oxygen because it's so warm, we want them to recover as best as possible. Create day oxygen bubbles, baby. Well, not this side. Hold on tight. Yeah, oh! yeah exactly. Hold on tight. He yeah. bit me. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see your arms, your arms. Your arms are in the way. 100, 111. That's it, look at those spawn marks. Good stuff for that. Cat Pro gel. And the water, comes as pet's good. We'll turn that into a film. Here we are, another daytime cat, 10 minutes after the last one. <laughs> New PB at 111 pound. Absolutely buzzing. <laughs> They're just getting bigger. Well, a right eventful afternoon, two massive PBs, and I'm now a member of the Hundreds Club. I'm absolutely buzzing. This trip can't go any better. Hopefully, we can get one of the 120s or 130s out. That would be absolutely epic, but I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm really happy with what I've got so far. Now, I'm gonna have a quick rinse in the shower, 
make the guys some dinner, chill out and have a glass of wine. So this is the rig that's been doing the business today. It's caught us 200 pounders, super simple. You've got a running lead down to a hair rig with a boilie and a pop-up on. Absolutely deadly, but very simple. Well, Jason's put this rod out about two minutes ago and he was just running his other rod out and it's gone. Oh my God. Today has kicked off. <laughs> I'm eating at the fish. Whoa! Oh my god, it's massive. Woohoo! Get in, you man. You got him? That is a bloody beast. Really? That's huge. That's another ton, easily. Really? Go. 117. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last of the 100 pounders that we would see that day, but the night was still young and I managed to fish estimated to be between 80 and 85 pounds in the night. And now I'm going to put him back. Nice. We're just heading to the shop this morning, just to grab some bits for later on. We're gonna have a nice cheese board and some nice red wine. Uh, celebrate what has been a really good trip. We've got a couple of nights left still, uh, so hopefully we can still see some of the bigger residents in the lake. Uh, but for now, we're gonna get to the shop and stock up on some goodies. So unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film in the shop. I did get a little bit of a telling off, but we got some lovely pastries, some lovely cheeses, and some beers. So we're set. So whilst we're waiting for a fish, I'd just like to talk about the approach that Jason and I have taken on this lake. When we arrived on the Saturday, we didn't really have a chance to sort of walk around and suss it out. It was nearly dark when we got here, so we just sort of pub chugged a couple of rods out, obviously to no avail. Um, over the past few days, we've refined our tactics to suit the style of fishing. Primarily, the bottom bait seemed to be working best. However, we have had a lot of big fish on things like live bait and uh, a squid under the dumbbell. Past two or three days, we've been coming around to this side of the lake, which is the opposite side to what we've been fishing during the night because we have seen a lot of fish showing over here. There's a nice deep area in the lake where the fish seem to hold up. It's about 10 foot deep, uh, and that's where we've primarily been having a lot of the, uh, a lot of the action. Rig-wise, it's just as simple as a running lead onto a hair rig with a boilie and a pop-up. It, it's as simple as it gets. Not typically the approach I would take for catfishing, but the owner recommended it, and it works, so it seems stupid not to use it. It's been really good fun, I mean, We've seen 400 pounders so far. We've seen 80s, we've seen 90s. It's just been absolute carnage. We've had the session of a lifetime and I really couldn't ask for a better session. And there's still two nights left, so there is still a chance for a 120, 130 maybe. Jason and Claire are just around making some lunch, probably have a baguette again. And we're just gonna sit on the water's edge, waiting for a bite, and really hope that we can get one of the 120s or 130s out, that'd be great. Here we go. The battle will commence now. Oh, she's smoking. First bite of the day. Hope we can land it. It's the start of a battle. I'll try and gain as much line as I can at the beginning so it doesn't snag me up around the monk like it did last night. Look at the bend in that rod. Oh my God, that's a five pound test curve rod. God. So big. It's a strong fish. <laughs> oh, it's off. Damn it. 
Yeah, broken off, mate. Right. That's a clean break. Snap. That's gone around a snag, isn't it? Nothing worse. There is no worse feeling than that. That was a big fish. That was a very big fish. Well, it's never a nice feeling losing a fish, and a lot of you probably know that feeling. Um, however, you can't dwell on it. We're just going to get the rod straight back out on the spot and hope that they're still on the feed. Absolutely gutting. We've worked really hard all day at this. That was the first bite, and I think there's a pretty lethal snag down there. It just cracked me off. Thankfully, it was a running rig, so the fish isn't trailing around a lead. But um, yeah, just going to get this rod out and hope for the best. Unfortunately, the night did pass uneventfully, but it did allow us to catch up on some sleep. The early hours of the morning brought something a bit different, and though I'm not much of a carp angler, I really appreciated this capture. So, PB common for me, 24 pounds, unexpected. Not really the species I was after, but I'm quite happy with that actually. Good condition, good scrap, and um, yeah, at least it's a fish. Other than the carp, day six was fairly uneventful, with Jason managing two small catfish, Unfortunately, I fell sick that evening and wasn't able to witness the absurdity of Jason's next catfish, an absolute monster weighing in at a whopping 120 pounds. I'm mega happy for him to have caught it. What a session. Oh my God, this place is absolutely incredible. We came here with a target to hit 100 pounds. We've not only done that, but we've done it five times over. Five times, 500 pounders. 500 pounders. I dread to think the total weight of the fish caught this session, but it's been absolutely mad. Unfortunately, I finished on a bit of a low. I was really ill last night, so I couldn't fish, but Jason finished on an absolute monster. Yeah, biggest fish yet, 120 pound. Fortunately, came on very well, so had to deal with it on my own. A little bit of help from Claire. And uh, yeah, we slipped it back nicely. We ended up on 14 cats, two carp, and a sturgeon, so. Overall, that was a pretty good session. Wasn't it? Pretty good session. The owner actually said that the carp that I caught was the lake record, so a bit yeah. of a result and a PB. So can't really ask for much more than that. But big ups and big thanks to Simon and Debbie for uh, their hospitality and looking after us. Um, couldn't ask for better hosts, Mega better venue, venue yeah. really, really good venue. Yeah, um, I'm sure we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. But for now, it's a seven-hour drive back to the port, so we're going to get loaded and head off. <sighs> what a sesh. Oh! Huh?